Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today we are doing a hair tutorial and you know I'm the worst at hair, but I make it work. This is going to be this 90s inspired flipped out half up half down hairstyle. So I'm a little late to this trend, but my hair was so short that I really thought I could not do this. But I've come to realize like actually I can. For anybody with short hair out there, thin hair, or anything like that, I'm going to show you how you can get this look and make it look a little stylish. Because I know sometimes it's hard to come up with short hair ideas. So obviously we've been seeing the flipped out style on people like Bella Hadid, Rihanna, the icon herself. But back in the 90s, we also saw it on people like Drew Barrymore or models like Tyra Banks, just to name a few. So we see a lot of 90s inspired trends always coming back because we just can't get over the 90s, I guess. I don't know. And if you're wondering, yes, I was alive. I'm 25 years old, so. But if you want to see how I did this actual makeup, I did a TikTok. So follow me over on TikTok or follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting pictures there. If you want to see this hairstyle, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, you guys, so this is literally just my clean washed hair. Nothing crazy. I have a comb, a hard bristle brush like this one right here. I use this root touch up, which I will actually show you guys later on in the video, and some good ass hairspray or gel, but I like to use Gatsu because it's keeping my hair in check all day. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start off by sectioning off the bangs. And so I like to pull them pretty far to the side because it gives like that really slick bang. As much bangs as you want. Pretty simple, really, honestly. This whole thing's about to be so simple right now. Next, what I'm gonna do is section off the actual hair itself. I try to get as close as I can to the sideburns so I don't have too much hair hanging down. But with my hair being as short as it is, sometimes I have to sacrifice a little bit of hair. It has to stay down here because it's just not long enough to cut it. Did she brush her hair before she started this? Ugh. Everything else is going straight back. So you see how this is like a really, really sharp line right here. It's really easy to get it on the sides, but for the back, I really like to go in my bathroom mirror where I've got like the double side, you know, where you've got your little medicine cabinet and you just kind of look at it here and it'll give you a really good idea of where that line's sitting at. So if I were just to do this in the back, it probably looks crazy right now. Like it probably looks disgusting and stupid. I'm gonna go ahead and step into my bathroom real quick and do that. I'll be right back. It wasn't that trashy, but it was a little trashy, so I'm glad that I fixed it, okay? Not like we're really doing anything, you know? I'm gonna actually go ahead and spray the got to be on the brush itself. And just start combing it straight back. You see how much more flat that's looking now? Mm. Delicioso. If you don't want to spray it on the brush, you can also spray it directly onto the hair. Definitely don't get the front hair in. I have my little black rubber band like this, and I'm just gonna pull it as tight as I possibly can. Make sure to give myself a little headache, you know? Just tie my little ponytail. Then I just like to go around the edges of the hair and just clean it up. Yes, this is a little eyebrow spoolie. And what about it? Next, before I do any of the hair straightening, I'm going to do my bangs. This one I definitely prefer to just spray it on the brush and then comb it to the side because I just don't like spraying that got to be in my face. Now my bangs have kind of trained themselves to stay all the way over, but when they were just a little bit shorter, they wanted to play games and like fall down over here or droop down or whatever. But to me, the bang is like almost the most important part of this hairstyle besides the flip because if it doesn't look slick, it doesn't look sleek, then it's just a no. You gotta slick it all the way behind the ear. This is the quickest hairstyle of life, okay? And it is absolutely perfect for my hair type. You're in the in-between stage, like if you see my hair when it was all down, the reason why I wear it so much slicked back or like I wear it in these certain ways is because the front pieces are too short compared to the back. This is like really blunt and even, but the front pieces are just kind of like doing their thing, you know? 
we were bald, you know, what can you do? It's growing back, it's doing its thing. I really wanted to go out and purchase a new hair straightener before I did this video, only because this one was like 10 bucks from Walmart, it's like a Revlon hair straightener. And I thought it was working all right for me just for the time being because I don't know, I was just like too lazy to buy a better one, I guess. I don't really know. I was over visiting my family this past weekend and I used my sister's hair straightener and I was like, damn, okay, so this is what my hair is supposed to look like. This is giving me bargain basement. That was giving me luxury. I love a good deal, but I'll tell you what, I might have to splurge. So with the top hair right here, this is my little palm tree. I just like to flip it under just a little bit. You really can't see the hair too much, so it's not that important. It's just giving us a little bit of volume while keeping it nice and sleek, not frizzy, not sticking straight up. As you can see, my hair is already super straight. But it is very, very important to get all this right here straight, not just the flip at the bottom. This up here, if it looks all wavy and just like air dried kind of vibe, then this is gonna look stupid. Like I said, this hair straightener is not the best, so just bear with me, okay? I'm just gonna go and flip it just like this. It's not packing too much heat in here, but it, it still does give me a nice little flip. The other one gave me like almost like a little curl at the end. It was like. The way that you see it in the magazines and when the hairstylists do it, where it's like, boop. Keep the hair straightener hot and on standby. Yes, we are putting our hair through abuse, but I'm gonna show you a little something, okay? So, what I like to do is I like to spray the hair on the top and on the bottom as well. It really holds that curve, because if you think about it gravity-wise, I feel like this really shouldn't be staying up as well as it does so what i like to do is just that on the bottom and then sometimes i'll kind of like just pinch it together if it's not looking as sleek as i want it to and you know when you have thin hair sometimes things just like you get a lot of flyaways and if you need to really quickly just put those hairs into place if they're not staying so this is looking exactly like i do it every single time but if you do have thin hair like I do, and I, like take a shot every time I say thin hair because I have really thin hair. This right here, this Magic Root Cover Up, it's actually a great concealing cover up. Like if you have gray roots or your roots are growing in, if you have dark hair and your roots are growing in light, you can actually use this as like a hair fiber type of situation. You can literally see. Cause I usually have some little bald spots and you obviously want to cover up right here because if you don't cover it up it's gonna get on your face but it shoots out like little dots like freckles almost but dark so it's not giving you like a painted on look it's just spraying on where you need it and giving you like a little bit of extra coverage and color yes yeah, some of you guys do not know the struggle you guys have never seen a bald spot on your head a day in your life but some of us out here we know what it's like, okay? And if you're with me, you're not alone. So if L'Oreal wants, oh my God. That's what I get for trying to ask for a sponsorship. If L'Oreal wants to discover this video and they want to make me their spokesperson, I absolutely will do it because I got thin ass hair and that stuff is bomb. Last but certainly not least, you can put like some barrettes or some clips or whatever you'd like. I have this little clip here from Kitsch and I like to double or even triple up on these, especially if you have like a colorful eye look like this, you could put some blue barrettes and I just think it's such a look, like it just goes together so well. That is so simple and easy. It literally takes me maybe 10 minutes tops to do this style. It helps that I don't have a lot of hair probably because I just have to do a little swoop swoop and I'm done. But I hope you guys enjoy it. I love giving hairstyle ideas even though I suck at hair because I know the struggle, okay? I know the struggle of not knowing what to do with your hair and it's just kind of a mess, it's just sitting on your head. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Do not forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell because I do expect to see you in the comments of my next video. I will wait, okay? Hit the notification bell. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys.